Bruguel uh, case, the, the, the French case, uh, when they did a decision on the 3rd of July um, to dismiss the case, that was the second dismissal. The first dismissal uh, had happened earlier, I think 2012, I guess. Um, then, no, I think 2013? 2018, that's where we had the first dismissal. 2012, we had, uh, we had uh, a report by a, a technical team, a judge leading a technical team, and they, they did a technical report, the Trevedic report, that, uh, you know, scientifically told the world that uh, uh, the Habjarimana plane uh, was shot from a space within Kanombe barracks. Uh, so the whole world should have seen what we said ever since this case began, that this was a travesty of justice. By saying it was a travesty of justice, I was looking at this. Look at the timeline. One, a case begins that should never have begun. It begins from very wrong premises. Politicized things, uh, how the RPF is uh, an occupying force that is coming to occupy Rwanda, to, to you know, uh, amass resources and other things. And, and it delves into ethnic uh, matters. Then uh, you have this report uh, after a long, as a culmination of a long uh, uh, debate on what needs to be done. This report, this commission, uh, this judge, and uh, and uh, uh, com comes up with this team, and they produce a report. Along that, other reports are being produced, consistently telling the world that this plane was shot but from within the premises of Kanombe by extremists in the government of Jadiman. And people don't want to listen. Then in 2018, there is a first dismissal by the Grand Instance Court of, uh, of Paris. Again, people say, well, it's still on the way. So on the 3rd of July, there is another uh, dismissal. Uh, so what I meant by this is a travesty of justice is, I mean, justice should, in the first place, begin because there is a justiciable matter. There is a legitimate uh, suspicion that an offense has been committed by this particular person that I'm uh, suspecting. Now, for this case, there is nothing like that. And this is why I say this is uh, a travesty of justice. It is, it, is, it is a hoax that should never have begun in the first place. Uh, I, I continue to think that uh, uh, the same dismissal, uh, uh, that this one was probably the last, but if it goes ahead, well, we will see. Uh, but I'm, I'm uh, sure that uh, any objective uh, uh, court process will always find uh, the same thing because this is uh, uh, it's a travesty. It shouldn't have happened. It's it's a, it's a shame. It's a blot on the on the. Uh, name of the rule of law, but that's how the world is. Uh, we will continue to uh, observe what's happening and uh, deal with whatever comes up. Let me tell you one little thing about the RPF. RPF and accountability mean the same thing. One of the pillars that the RPF has built itself on, that define it, is accountability. Both from within, its own members, its own leaders within, and also uh, without. Whenever RPF is in charge of something, uh, those with whom it is serving are expected to observe the rules, play by the rules, be accountable, and I mean mission accountability. It, I, I'm not talking about money, I'm talking about if I have a job here as a Minister of Justice and I belong to the RPF, I account for the job I do. 
uh, and if I don't account, that is another, a, a failure as a member of the RPF. So, uh, that uh, meeting that happened is one of many other meetings that the RPF has, uh, whole, has, has held, uh, even specifically on the issue of accountability. Uh, this in, that one was uh, the most recent, but I can bet to you that, that is, it's not the last. There will always be, uh, RPF will always put its foot on the ground when accountability is threatened. Because it's, it's basically uh, a value that we, uh, as RPF members, must observe, but as but RPF as a political organization, uh, survives by. Let me talk about leadership also. Leadership is also a, a mission that people are entrusted with uh, to go and deliver. And one of the things that uh, needs to be observed seriously is, is that when you are in, in, in power, uh, the trappings of power, the temptation to abuse might come. And if that temptation to abuse the power, to abuse the office, to, to, to put your hand in the till, uh, if that temptation comes, you ought to resist it. Pray to God to resist it. But if you, if you can't, then you will be held accountable. So on specific cases, uh, I, I, I won't really have to go into uh, what a prosecutor would do or what a judge would do or what a, an investigator would do. I also read the papers like you do uh, and I see uh, names of people being summoned, those being taken to courts uh, uh, for uh, uh, for offences like uh, conniving to cheat uh, government and uh, and get uh, you know uh, more resources going out uh, than necessary. Uh, I, I'm reading in the media about uh, uh, senior people doing. Uh, massive owings and, uh, and uh, uh, issuing bouncing uh, negotiable instruments, specifically checks. Uh, I'm reading about abuse of office uh, cases. So I'm, I'm reading about them uh, and you know which they are. You've, read, you've, been, you've been writing them, not reading. You, you've been writing about them. Uh, but I think we should put them in that context of uh, if there is legitimate suspicion that uh, me here as Minister of Justice uh, have uh, connived to, to, to cheat government, have issued uh, 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 bouncing negotiable instruments, checks or whatever else, have defrauded uh, through procurement, uh, have, have uh, abused my power, abused my office and done something I shouldn't have done, uh, the next thing you should expect to write about me is that I was a guest at RIP. That is the next thing you would write about me. Or I was a guest at the NPPA. Or I was a guest at the courts. Or I was a guest at Majerage. So you are going to find these kinds of things happening. And, and this is uh, the, the, the life we lead. Uh, what is expected, the rules are clear, it's not like uh, magic or, or some surprise, something happening in the night. No, the rules are clear, uh, so accountability is a major thing, Edmund, that uh, we have to uh, continue observing uh, and if we fail, account. It's, 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 it's not, there's no two ways about it. So in that meeting at the RPF, Yes, names were named, uh, people were made to stand, and uh, the chairman of the RPF, 
mentioned certain things and said, you guys, why did you do this? Why did you do that? Why did you do that? That was within the RPF, within his full powers as chairman of the RPF. And that is what we do. Many, many years we do that. That is our own way of, of, of washing, uh, you know, our dirty files inside when the RPF is, when the RPF gets together. They told you that uh, I, was, I was also made to stand. Yes, I was made to stand and the president uh, wanted me, first of all, to know that this is a concern, not just a concern for, for the RPF, it's a concern for Rwandans. Number two, when we have issues like this, where else do we go? We go to justice. So you, my Minister for Justice and Attorney General, please, you ought to make sure that these cases are given proper treatment, proper treatment at the investigation level, at the prosecution level. Make sure the evidence is collected. Make sure, you know, make sure there's no impunity. Make sure the, 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 the whole system of justice is, is functioning. And uh, you ask me what I'm doing after that. I'm, I'm, I'm doing more of my uh, normal functions. I, I, I want to assure Rwandans that uh, there will be no sacred cows, there will be no uh, anybody above the law, accountability for the mission that we are charged with as, uh, as public officials, uh, and accountability for resources that we are entrusted to administer as we deliver on our mission, uh, will be as much as protected as we can. So, uh, from the standing up, I, I was, I was uh, being told that uh, you are either going to be doing your job, or you are, not, you are failing to do it. And I, I understood entirely that and, uh, and I made my commitment. And perhaps this is part of the, uh, the, the, the implementation of the instructions I got from uh, my president.